All right, guys, let's talk about how we do equal sections when they are not full sections, even around a corner. So we got a real tight radius. We're gonna shorten these sections up to make this radius look better. They're gonna be approximately four foot. We're using the spacing, the SpaceX tool here. I'm gonna pick the notch that's closest to the four foot mark. And if I put the post to that notch, then I have an equal distance between the picket and the post. So when I cut my section off and we cut one side, it'll be equally on both sides. So as I move around, I'll do the same thing, find the notch closest to that flag, find the notch closest to that flag, and so on, and repeat. Four foot is where the flag is, but I'm gonna put the post right here. Move it over just that half inch will give me equal space between the post and the last picket. Now we got a four foot gate here. So we're gonna use the four foot gate spacer. Put the post right there, it's gonna leave you with a four foot gate opening. Exactly. One quick tip I wanna show you guys. This spacing jig is made for a four foot opening. We have to sleeve this post and this post with an 065 aluminum post. So we need to be about a quarter inch strong away from the jig. If you look down here at this gap right here, you'll see it's about a quarter inch away. And that's because I gotta leave room for both posts to fit on top of that, on top of these posts. Let's talk about how we do radiuses, gentle radiuses and curves. We use a PVC pipe to lay it on the ground. Make sure we like how the curve looks and we spray paint that and then follow that with the post. All right, so now we go back through and make this look good. All right, so now we look at this curve, see how we like it. We'll bump out right here. And that little movement right there might have made all the difference. Oh yeah, sexy. That's it, pull the pipe out of the way, put the fence in. So we, we drove these posts using the SpaceX tool, which tells me if I drive a post here, this is where I equally spaced landed up here, you cut my picket off and I put the hole inside the post. And rather than notching the rail like this, so rather than cutting that, we're gonna make the holes bigger so the whole rail can slide in. So all I do is cut this off, take the picket out, and slide it in, I'll cut it right there. this tool here you can open this hole up and then we'll end up with an equal space here as we do here down there right like that put our screws in it Boom, check it out, MrFenceTools.com, SpaceX, and the Nibbler tool. Cool, now you know, there you go.